don't bow to the system They don't control my rhythm I ask God for wisdom They're out persecuting I'm out producing music Hey everybody, this is the uh, Marco Maya at the Patriot Torch, and uh, I wanted to uh, talk about uh, the radiation, uh, cell phone radiation frequencies, and how it's affecting our world. Uh, it, to me, it's it's definitely something very uh, dangerous because of the fact that people aren't aware of what radiation does to your body. Um, the fact that you know people have these phones up to your ear you know, when you're talking to people, and, you know, the, this radiation is cooking you. You know, ju just the same way that a microwave cooks food. The, the, the proximity that you have to it is going to affect how you're affected by it, and it, it literally cooks you over time. But, but it's very, obviously, small, but it's going to cause some damage, and... There's been a national uh, toxicology program reports that they've tried, they've seen that what it's done. They've had studies where they've had the cell phone radiation on rats for like two years straight. They studied it and they did have an increase in diseases and brain tumors and, and different things like this. Um, and so the, the, this has already been seen in studies that it causes problems. Uh, there's been children that have been diagnosed with brain cancers next to cell phone towers. Uh, I've seen these articles. You can find them yourself. This is concerning, guys. Like, you know, it's already no well known that the, the high-power uh, tension towers, the, the, uh, the high-tension power lines, those things, when you live close to that, it does increase your risk of cancer. Uh, because and, and all these things surrounding us and the fact that the 5G is now rolling out and people are concerned about it because it's extremely um, much higher frequency uh, and they're going to start building more of these uh, all over the place, these, these uh, telecommunication companies, it's going to increase your exposure to this. And so what the concern is logically if they keep increasing the power of this radiation and increasing, making it closer to everyone more and more to make the, the, the extreme effect of it, controlling, you know, affecting people, what's the next level? Are they going to continue to do this? Or are they going to continue to increase the power of it just so that you can have a faster uh, uh, loading time for your website? You know, this is something that we have to to discuss as a community uh, on this planet. Uh, this is very dangerous for us to just continue to, to, to increase our exposure to something that's been linked to cancer, in, to increase it in, in, in all these neighborhoods throughout the country, in the cities especially. How is this going to affect people? We don't even know exactly how bad it's going to be, especially if they keep in continually increasing the radiation. What's next? 6G? 7G? 8G? I mean, at what point do we say, hey, this is getting too dangerous? And I think this is the time to start doing that. Because if we don't say anything, if we accept this, guys, we are accepting something that can cause cancer into our lives if we're going to continue to accept this, continue to accept the radiation. This radiation is affecting our the electromagnetic field around us in our bodies, in our in our brains. Uh, it, it's going to start, you know, there's been studies on this stuff. So I wanted to point this out because there are, you know, concerns that this is going to uh, affect people. And I've, I've even seen articles about how there are really super wealthy people that are leaving to live in places that don't have as much radiation. I mean, there's, you know, these billionaires moving to New Zealand uh, to, to start, you know, it's very suspicious to me that, that these super wealthy people are leaving highly populated areas while 5G is starting to be built, while these things are being deployed, and to me, it's kind of a no-brainer to start questioning this technology uh, when there's their fiber optic apparently is even better, and it doesn't have much radiation to it at all. Uh, 
so why why is 5G being rolled out if it's not even the most advanced technology? It's not even necessary, really. Because, I mean, look at it. Let's face it. 4G, we already have fast loading times. How much faster does it need to be? I, I don't even see the point in increasing our health, the, the, uh, the risk to our health, to make it faster when it's already great. It's, I don't even have problems with the wet Internet right now. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't make sense. Why is this... It's almost like, is this an attack on humanity? I mean, if it's not even necessary, why is there such a big rollout of this? Have you ever thought about that? Why is there the increasing and increasing, and at this time, even massively increasing the frequency and radiation through 5G? What is the point of this? If we're already having fast internet, and we're already satisfied, basically, I don't see the, the, the point of it other than it's, some, it's basically causing... It's almost like a, a very diabolical scheme, in my view. There's something behind this that's very suspicious. Uh, for this to, to, to be, to, for there to be studies about this, and then for there, to, there's all this propaganda online uh, about how there's no connection at all. And it's like, what do you mean? There's studies. The National Toxicology uh, Program has already studied this. It's already been linked. Uh, it's already there's a huge carcinogenic. Uh, link to radiation of cell phones. So, t to me, it's just it's very strange that there's also this push to make you believe that there's nothing going on. Uh, that's very strange too. So, to me, there's something big here, and I I'm really concerned about it. So, I want to share this with you so you can research it yourself, and, and so that you also question it whenever people are saying there's nothing wrong with it. There's absolutely no no risk at all. I want you to think about it and be like, there are, there is evidences, there are, there's another side to this argument, and not to just fall for every me mainstream propaganda lie because they've lied to us so much about so many different things. Uh, I want, I want us to question that. So, uh, thanks for watching uh, this special episode of the Patriot Torch on this very important topic because I care about innocent children. I care about the people of the world. I care about the health of people. And there's no way that radiation and increasing radiation is healthy or good for anybody. Just, just think about that just in a simple, logical way. That doesn't make sense. Uh, so let's just let's question it. Let's have this discussion. Let's find more information about this. And I will uh, continue to research this topic. I'll see you in the next one.